Hey, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this. Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to chat with you about something that I've been thinking about and has been magnified in my life recently. And it's perhaps because of everything that's going on in the world. And it's perhaps because in many ways, my team and I have gotten to do things that we've never gotten to do before. If you follow me on social media, you know that we have just wrapped up doing a virtual, fully digitalized conference for about 80 people. And it was a big deal because our client is really looking forward to engaging and motivating and infusing our team, the team, their team, uh, with value and with a lot of valuable, relevant content to their industry. So as we're doing new things and as wonderful opportunities are coming our way, we're also very much living in Northern California where the sky is orange because of the smoke impact, um, the fire season that we're in, the high wind alerts, the just this, this blanket of literal oppression that's hanging over us. And one of the things that is coming up for me is conversation around the past and the things that have been happening to us in the past. And you all, we, myself included, have had things happen in our past that is really defining. There are markers. When we look back, we, we see 10 years ago, we see three months ago, we see three years ago, we see things that were, um, that were markers that were events in our life that defined um, that period of time. It's really challenging to not think that the past defines or predicts our future. If you ever have gone through personal failures or have gone through a period of crisis, uh, particularly personally, um, it's really challenging to, to, to get out of the thinking pattern of thinking that this is going to happen again. The example I want to give to you is when you deal with a failed relationship, or maybe you've been fired before, right? Um, maybe something that is very personal to you has happened, um, and now you're moving forward, and it's, it's challenging to think that that one thing that happened in the past is not going to happen again. What comes to mind for me as somebody who's really had to get through some of those things, um, personal failures, per, uh, professional failures, um, things that have happened, you know, thankfully in the past, planning for the future and not wanting to predict the future with failure. Um, I don't know if you can relate to this, but there's a certain element that I think that happens and comes up this term that you know, because you've heard it. And that is a certain codependency, a certain, a certain thing with the, with, with failure, with, with something that didn't work out where the codependency begins to dictate your future and the choices you make forward. But when you learn from the mistakes you've made and from the things that have happened to you, one of the most beautiful things that happens in your life is that you begin to become interdependent. So true learning and, and true strengthening reminds you and shows you and teaches you that the thing that happened and the failure, so to speak, is teaching you to become interdependent with your environment, with other people, with teams, with your goals and vision. Um, you begin to think of um, the good, not just the good that came out of the failure, but the good in you, your actual strengths. You learn about those. And then you begin to recognize that the, the thing that happened in the past doesn't dictate and predict or plan your future. So if you lost a job or had a failed relationship, whatever other thing happened in the past, it doesn't define your future. It shapes who you are. 
it strengthens you and you begin to become interdependent with your strength and your learning and your ability and you begin to craft something new. Just because it happened before does not mean that it will happen again. So the idea that your future is going to get repeated and that you have to go, are going to have to relive the same old story again, it's a trap. One of the people who is part of professional development at the company that I was telling you about who designed this um, virtual digitalized experience for their team, he says that your future is spotless. He reminds the team of that. Your future is spotless. So, with that in mind, as you're thinking ahead, even if the past has been flawed and you've made some mistakes, or some things have happened, even if the present feels hard, challenging, um, maybe a little bit frightening even, the future is spotless. And it's all about that interdependence, that ability to understand your strengths, your ability to have been shaped by the experiences that you've encountered and making better choices going forward. So I find that super encouraging. I find it encouraging because in the midst of hard situations, which I definitely have in my life and I know you do too, in the midst of that, you have choice. You have the choice to look at your future as spotless and to look at the strength and the learning and the growth and the opportunities that that brings going forward. I really appreciate you. Um, tonight's been really fun to talk to you because it's later in the evening. It's a little bit darker here in my office and I feel like I'm just chatting just with you. The distractions of the day are gone um, and the only thing I can think about is that you're watching this and that hopefully it's encouraging and empowering to you. So thank you so much. Have a great day.